Hello everyone, my name is uh, Dr. Shweek Shima. I'm professor of nephrology and today we will talk about kidney damaging medicines. There are so many medicines which we take for different infections or pains uh, or for analgesia but they are toxic for the kidney. They are called nephrotoxic drugs. So we will talk about eight drugs which are nephrotoxic, uh, which are not good for the kidney so one has to be very careful. All the medicine when we take, uh, first they pass through the liver, then come to the blood and then most of them are excreted in the through the kidney, in the urine. So they are metabolized or catabolized or broken down in the liver and then the final excretion is through the kidney. So there are significant chances that they could affect any part of the uh, renal nephron. They could cause glomerular injury causing glomerular nephritis. They could affect the tubules causing tubular injury or acute tubular necrosis. They could affect the interstitium which is another part of the uh, renal system causing interstitial nephritis. Uh, there are so many drugs of abuse which are bad for the kidney like cocaine for example. Uh, there are different Chinese herbal medication for weight loss which could affect the kidney badly. Uh, and there are so many other uh, medicines and heavy metals and kushtas which could affect the kidney. But we will talk about the top 7 or 8 uh, which are really bad for the kidney. One has to be very careful and then I will go over what can we do to prevent the risk to the kidney a damage to the kidney. So I think on top number one are antibiotics. Uh, it could be antibacterial or antifungal or antiviral or uh, medicines for HIV or tuberculosis. They all affect the kidneys. The notorious ones are vancomycin and aminoglycosides like gentamicin and tobramycin. Especially if they are taken in combination, uh, they could be really bad for the kidneys. Uh, number two, iodinated contrast. There are different dyes which are used for CT scan, uh, for CT angiograms, for coronary angiograms, for cardiocatheterization. Uh, there is a data that they could cause contrast induced nephropathy which is actually a type of acute tubular necrosis. So, so they affect the tubules of the kidney and they could cause acute kidney injury. Uh, which if left untreated could even lead to chronic kidney disease. Dye could also, also uh, cause another condition uh, which we call atheroembolic disease. Atheroembolic disease uh, could be irreversible. It could even lead a patient to end stage renal disease requiring dialysis. Number three, there are certain medicines uh, called statins like atorvastatin, simvastatin, these are the medicine which lower the lipid. So these are the lipid lowering medicine and there is evidence that they could cause muscle breakdown. Uh, muscle breakdown could lead to rhabdomyolysis or myoglobin urea and that could affect the kidneys badly. Especially if these medicines are used with other medication which also cause rhabdomyolysis, the effect could be double fold or several folds. Many patients uh, to lower the cholesterol they also take certain other medicine which lower triglyceride level and this combination could be really bad. Uh, so this was number three. Number four heartburn medication. Many people take medication for gastritis or peptic ulcer disease like proton pump inhibitors like omiprazole. These are even available over the counter. Some people just keep on taking it forever. Studies have shown that these medicine could also cause acute interstitial nephritis and chronic interstitial nephritis uh, which is a risk factor for chronic kidney disease. So these should be avoided and should never be taken without doctor's advice. On number five, chemotherapeutic agents. There are some drugs which we use uh, for the cancer treatment like cisplatin, methotrexate, cyclophosphamide. These kind of medicine could also affect the kidneys. So they should be used with caution uh, and under the supervision of an oncologist obviously. Uh, on number six there is a group of medicine called uh, calcineurin inhibitors like cyclosporin or tacrolimus. These medicines are used for transplant patients, for kidney transplant, for liver transplant, for heart transplant. They are also used for different glomerular diseases like glomerular nephritis. So these medicine if taken for a longer period of time and usually they are used for a long long period of time. If you have a liver transplant for example you will be using tacrolimus forever. 
it could cause the kidney damage it could affect your kidney it could cause nephrotoxicity and in many situation there is no option you can't even stop it in many cases you have to reduce the dose or change it to another alternative agent with which the chances of rejection of organ might increase so these medicines are also very tricky they are like double edged sword on one side they are benefiting you on the other hand they are also affecting your kidneys so one has to be very careful and has to be only taken when actually needed uh, number 7 heavy metals uh, not that much in usa or western england but in countries like pakistan india bangladesh uh, people use a lot of heavy metal for different purposes like gold lead mercury platinum cadmium these are very toxic to the kidneys so i strongly discourage them and last but not the least uh, pain killers non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and cox2 inhibitors these medicine affect the production of prostaglandins which are beneficial for the kidney hence they lead to kidney damage which could be acute interstitial nephritis acute tubular necrosis glomerulonephritis minimal change disease hypertension edema volume retention so they have so many side effects and they are usually taken for a longer period of time for example for arthritis so these should be strongly discouraged and they should be only taken under the supervision of a doctor for a short period of time and then the thing is they are available over the counter too even though they are available at a uh at a smaller dose level but if you take multiple uh, tablets in one single day you could have the same effect so what can someone do to prevent damage to the kidney number one <laughs> they should always take the medicine uh, under doctor's advice number two if their age is more than 60 or their gfr is less than 60 they have to be even more careful number three they need to assess the risk factor which could increase the toxicity of these drugs for example congestive heart failure patient people with volume depletion dehydration they could have more profound effect so these risk factor should be addressed first before they could be started on these medication a uh, number 5 the other tip could be you use alternative drug you use less less nephrotoxic drugs uh on number 6 you avoid combination for example a combination of venco and gentamicin could be more toxic than either one of them alone so you avoid combination of different medication which are nephrotoxic and last but not the least when you are taking these and if you have to take these you monitor the kidney function carefully for example if you have to take proton pump inhibitor or pain killer for a longer period of time you follow urea and creatinine uh, and kidney function and urine for protein uh, on regular basis and all these medication should not be taken uh, from over the counter and with someone else's advice uh, they should be taken uh, only when prescribed for a doctor and for the same duration for which they have been prescribed and next time if a similar situation arises you should not take on your own it's less common in the west but more common in southeast asia so these were the top 7 uh, or 8 nephrotoxic drugs or kidney damaging drugs i hope you liked it uh, please <laughs> share uh, the video and like the video and also subscribe to our channel nef chat 2 with dr shweek chima thank you very much